It's such a cool <laughs> event at Webb yes. that helps benefit the school in different areas, which we'll yes. talk about. But it also is such a great way to see local artists, uh, artists from all over, mm -hmm. beautiful pieces of jewelry. I get so excited about this. Jennifer Moffitt joins us this morning. Hi there. Hi, hi. Thank you for having us. Yes, Art Extravaganza at Webb School of Knoxville is happening this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and like Abby said, we have artists from all over, primarily the southeast, but all up and down the eastern seaboard. And what you see in front of you is some examples of uh, the types of artwork that we have. So we have something for everyone. We have pottery, jewelry, sculpture, wood, paintings. This is a painting from uh, Jonathan Howe, who is our featured artist this year. So he will have a very large display in the middle of our event space. So um, we would love everybody to come down. And this is primarily an art sale. So we would love everyone to come and find something for their home. And it's welcome to everybody. This is not just for web parents or web students. It is a community wide event and all all are welcome. Talk to me about what it benefits for what? So it benefits, the proceeds go for, it is our largest fundraiser and goes and benefits the arts at Webb School, but we also do a year scholarship for a student at the Community School for the Arts, which is an after school program primarily housed at Church Street United Methodist Church. And they offer arts programming for those uh, kids that typically wouldn't get art um, at their own school. So it's five days a week. They have painting, they have music, they have um, like sewing, knitting, I mean all manner of arts that these students um, can participate in and otherwise maybe could or could not afford it. So we provide a scholarship for I a love student. That. Yes, that's it's awesome. Great. Um, it's, it's obviously a fundraiser, but it's so cool to go out and look at all the lo lo some local artists are being mm -hmm. featured this year. Can, yes. Do you, do you know? Specifically, we have a very cool event happening Friday night with our opening reception from five to seven, Jessica Ramsey, who I know you are yeah, friends she's with. She's one of my dearest friends. Yes. She is doing a painting at that event. So you'll get to see her painting and create her artwork. And it's amazing. If you've never seen her do it live, <laughs> it's amazing. Like just yes. what she's able to create and how people can get involved too, it's really neat. She's so fun and she interacts with the, the customers that come and she, she is great. So we, um, she agreed to do this uh, to Friday night from five to seven. So yes, if nothing else, come and see her. Yes, <laughs> uh, I remember I got the coolest um, necklace there last year. There was this jewelry designer from Nashville. Is it Tony Perrin? Gosh, I can't remember. He, these two pieces they are look Tony, familiar. And these earrings are Tony Perrin as well. He's been coming for years and very popular. I love his pieces. They're great. And so there's something for everybody. The kids really like to go and see the they art. At it. least I took my kids last yes. year and they love to go and see the art and just to experience it. Yes. I think it's such yes. a neat experience bringing all these artists together in one place. Agreed. And the artists are so friendly and fun. Part of the uh, deal, if you agree to be an artist in the show, they have to man their booth the whole time, which they love doing because they love interacting with all of the customers that come and talking about their artwork and what inspires them. So it really is. It's a great weekend. Here's the info on the screen of all the hours and the location, everything you need. Well, thank you so much. It's good to see you. Thank you. I hope I it goes great it. this weekend. Me too. Yeah, we're excited. I think it will. All right. We'll be right back after this.